good day Critiverse fans this is cat smiles how you guys doing today and today we will be doing a walkthrough of our brown marble and medieval stone storage room the storage room to me is one of the biggest and most important rooms of a build and i just love what you can do with any storage room in any game so i put this together for you guys i hope you enjoy it as you can see it is very beautiful we are underground it does go up higher and it does go down lower this one is built to be underground so you will see, see some stairs however with these builds i do make it very easy to customize it after it is built so you can put it anywhere you wish so guys have anything highly prized and valued does it give you great pleasure and you think it's very special have too much of it this brown marble and medieval stone storage room with detailed tapestries, mantles, and medieval decor has a treasure trove of places to keep it safe. Need an extra safe space for that extra special items? There's just a room for that as well. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go and take a look at our build. And as you can see, we are created with this beautiful marble edging along a nice little patio, a nice smooth entrance in, greeted with a nice floor rug. We do have a room to our side here, but as you can see, it is a very beautiful, smooth, decorative walls. We're going to come down, go ahead and close this so that we can see our entrance. And as you can see, this is going downstairs. I do make these builds very easy to modify once they are built or even while building. Um, as you can see, once we do a walkthrough, I'll show you some entrances and exits that you guys will be able to utilize. So as you can see, we are greeted with these beautiful storage units wrapping all the way down. We have some nice lighting some fireplaces and we are greeted with this beautiful mantle right here like it's actually getting in the middle I'll try to make this better for you guys I'm sorry there we go and as you can see it is very detailed with its perfect lighting on the side and it goes all the way down we do have breakups so it's a lot easier to get where you guys want to go without having to go wrap around the room and it goes all the way to the back where you are greeted with a nice hallway here once again lined with storage units all the way around and up in, in the back we do have this beautiful decorative tapestries some nice lighting once again all along the walls you have this very nice marble finish and once again it does wrap around and comes to yet another little place right here doesn't that just look lovely gives a nice warm feeling to this room and as you can see we are back to the beginning once again every row has equal amount of storage you can place any of your items that you want to keep track of right here on the tables with the placemats so that is a fun nifty thing to do if you want to keep an eye on what's going on do remember that you can lock and log your items so you can see what's going on there so what we're going to do is go ahead and sneak back up here go into our little room here this is able to be locked by a keypad or by wiring tool so if you want to kind of keep this to yourself and nobody else you can do that and we're going to walk into our little secret area with our little extra storage with an extra special items but wait look at that lighting isn't that pretty as you get closer it's just nice Perfect. Oh, wait, what's that? <gasps> Stairs? But you can't see that by the door. I wonder where it goes. 
As you can see, this is very lined with the stairs. It is a very nice finish with our medieval stone, and it does go all the way back. As you can see here, we do have an indentation where you could put a hidden door. So this is a very nice cozy way to make another entrance. You can also take this out and just make it into another room on this wall here. I'm sorry if I'm making you guys face into the walls. And as you can see, it just wraps all the way around. Once again, our tapestry is not so pretty on this side, but guys, that's okay. Because no one else is going to see it. Because no one else knows about this room. <laughs> and it wraps around. Once again, our tapestry and mantles and as you can see it does go all the way up that is where our door is going to be and it wraps all the way around this stairway goes all the way back to where we were from the hidden room and we have this little area right here that kind of gives you that little extra security so you can store stuff without having to worry about anything because really no one's going to know about this room unless they watch this video <laughs> Or you tell them and guys I hope you really enjoy this build I can't wait to see what you guys do with it let me know about your ideas what you think this is my very first blueprint not my very first storage room by any means but I really did enjoy this I love the brown marble that this comes in you guys can change any items that you wish to make it into bigger storage or a different look However, I do hope you keep this one, and please share what you have. I would love to see it. You guys have a great day, and happy gaming. And good day, Critters fans. This is Cat Smiles, and today we are going to do a walkthrough for the brown marble and stone medieval storage. As you can see, it's underground. Most of my builds are going to be underground, um, so I do apologize if there are stairs. But do know in most of my builds, I do make it really easy to customize later on so that you can have the stairs entering at any point in the build with just very little modifications. So what you're going to do is go ahead and this is our front of our building. It does go on quite a way under and below, under and below, excuse me, sides and below. However, I do have it covered up so that it looks more natural in the surroundings you can have it built in any way possible so what you're going to do is be greeted with these beautiful beautiful flowers here go ahead and look at our wonderful lighting that is a really nice add-on here for the little sides so then we're going to go ahead and enter in to our storage room as you can see it is lined with these shadow boxes really pretty the front entrance is really nice as well as you can see it is carpeted on the roof we do have a door here but I am going to close that for now and we will definitely go into that later so you're gonna go ahead and walk downstairs and you're greeted with a lovely lovely stairway that has been tapered off so it's a nice smooth glide all the way down you do have this beautiful wall here and we're going to go down and have all of our storage units here as you can see they are oh i missed one well i'm sorry guys you guys will not have that right there but you can replace it very easily sorry <laughs> Okay, so here we go. Going ahead and scan the room. As you can see, it wraps all the way around with these shadow boxes. You have really nice decorative lighting. On each sides of the wall, we do have some type of a mural. As you can see, we have some really nice tapestries. Go ahead and go all the way down. As you will notice, there is many, many fireplaces here with things on top this is you can change at any time if you wish I just have these set up like this just to represent what is in each of the boxes do remember guys you can go ahead and 
change the name to each box or each treasure chest also with teleporters and you can name it anything you want and just go ahead and push enter so now it is saved so now you can just go ahead and move it over your mouse and you'll see this pop up do remember guys you can lock this as the controls this is what you use to go ahead and rename the box and this is a really cool entry you go ahead and history but what we can do is i'll show you what that does here so i went ahead and put in something i went ahead and took out something i went ahead and took in something now you can go over and look at the history this works for teleporters and chess so it shows what i put in what i put out what I re and, and how long ago, everything like that. So this is really great for big worlds. So if you have a great big world and you really need to know what's going on with some of your inventory, you guys, this is a really good thing to have. So, okay, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and finish our walkthrough. Once again, we have a nice opening here. So it's a lot easier to get to where and from you wanna go. Once again, we do have a beautiful mural here. Just kind of showing off all the little items we have. And then we can go all the way to the back. And I do mention that we have a lot of room to expand. So if you need to go back further or expand into maybe another room, you can alter this pretty easily. I'm sorry if my mouse is going a little bit too fast for you guys. I'm trying to go a little slow, but not make this video too long. And this is going to be our back wall. Really pretty tapestry is going on here. We do have our lighting as well. So I think this really turned out great. I hope you guys can use this and are happy with the storage units that is provided. So, and this is gonna be the really fun part. So we have all of the storage units, right? So let's say you just come in, you just don't have time to put away your stuff. You need to go really fast. What you can do is just go ahead and run over here, dump off your stuff. Just picture it being full. Go ahead and dump off your stuff. Go do what you have to do and organize it later. So this is your main wall you can go higher if you want make it a two-story that is really easy to replicate as you can tell I did that many times here now we're gonna go into the special area go ahead and close our door so we can kind of get a little bit more of a better view of that and as you notice we have a little door here you can go ahead and lock that if you want so nobody can get it and you're just going to go in and you have your little special, extra special storage. So let's go ahead and close that. And as you can see, nothing special. We have, looks like a little bit lights over there. But wait. It looks plain. Looks simple. Nothing looks out of the ordinary other than the weird... Oh, look. What's this? stairs where do they go we have this special room here so let's go ahead and check this so we have a nice entryway like I said this is easy to take out and go back further if you need to just push the walls back this here is our special murals um, that are on each side which you can do I did leave this open so maybe if you want to use phase um, the Phasers, I'm sorry, I'm totally having a brain fart with what they're actually called. You can actually phase these out and use this as a secret door into another room or something like that. As you can see, this little passageway goes all the way up, all the way around. That's our stairs up. And once again, this is an alcove that you can use for a special door and goes all the way back yet again so basically on each side you can have a special little hidden area as you can see this is our two wide so that you can 
do a little stuff around here and yes you can't get back there but you can always put special storage here so that nobody can actually get to it and then you could go all the way back up to your normal room and nobody knows you have a whole nother area hidden well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. I hope it wasn't too long, and I hope you learned something uh, that would help you with this build. You guys have a great day. Let's go ahead and leave you with this view. Have a great day. Happy gaming.